Good morning and welcome to Worship from Chelmsford Methodists. My name is Sue Johnson and I'm one of the local preachers here in the Chelmsford circuit and it's my privilege to lead this act of worship this morning. We're going to begin by listening to a traditional hymn that describes the faithful nature of God. Great is thy faithfulness. come now to a time of prayer and these are our prayers of adoration and confession. Loving, faithful God, your love is absolute, your promises irrevocable. We look up after a shower of rain, marvelling at the colourful beauty of your rainbow. 
a reminder of your promise and faithfulness to all generations. Wherever we happen to be, wilderness, mountain or valley bottom, your Holy Spirit is with us. We adore you, loving, faithful God. Faithful God, holy and true, your call on our lives is persistent. Your promises are kept. Your faithfulness to us is beyond measure. Yet we wander and fear that we cannot be the people that you made us to be. We build foundations on the ground we call our own. We do not take time to dig deep. We do not wait for your wisdom. We depend too much on our own strength. Forgive us for building our own dreams. Have mercy on us when our own pride stops us turning to you. Let us know your grace when we keep your gifts to ourselves. Here are words we can trust. Christ Jesus came and lived among us, revealing the truth of God's love and grace. Those who had no hope, he called by name. To those who had lost their way, he said, follow me. To us who wait on God's mercy, he says, you are forgiven. Let us learn to forgive ourselves and one another, that we might live the gift of God's grace. Amen. September is always a time of change and new beginnings. It's a changing season, the beginning of meteorological autumn. And certainly this last week, it seemed a lot chillier. And the evenings are getting so much darker. It's a time of change for children, with some starting school for the first time, others getting used to different teachers and the older ones venturing into high schools where they've, they often have to make new friends and get used to so much larger buildings with many more people around and new ways of working. For older teenagers, it's a time to begin college or university and to leave the security of home for the first time. And of course, for us as Methodists, we are at the start of our new year, a time when many ministers are taking up new appointments, getting used to their different congregations and perhaps an unfamiliar city or town. This year, of course, there has been even more change than usual. On September the 6th, Liz Truss, as the new leader of the Conservative Party was invited by the Queen to form a government. And then, two days later, we heard the sad news of the death of Queen Elizabeth and the accession of King Charles III. So on top of all the normal changes we experience in September, we now have a new King and a new government. So much change, so many new things to get accustomed to. It's an unsettling time, an uneasy time, a time when we've lost that sense of stability, of familiar familiarity with the old ways. And so in this time of upheaval, it is good to remember that God is unchanging 
and everlasting. He has always been our faithful God. And we are going to hear a song now that reminds us of that. Because of all the upheaval we've experienced over the last couple of weeks, I actually didn't get round to preparing this service until Tuesday of this week. And so I didn't have time to arrange anyone else to read for me. So I'm afraid you'll just have to keep on listening to my voice. So two readings, both from the Old Testament. The first is from Psalm 89. And it's about the faithfulness of God. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever. That you established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, 
I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. O Lord God Almighty, who is like you? You are mighty, O Lord, and your faithfulness surrounds you. And our second reading is from Isaiah chapter 43 and the first five verses. But now this is what the Lord says, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your saviour. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your stead, since you are precious in, and honoured in my sight, and because I love you. I will give men in exchange for you, and people in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid for I am with you. Having heard those readings from the Psalm and from the prophet Isaiah, we are reminded once more just how much God cares for his people. In the passage from Isaiah, his words demonstrate that abundant care. And I know it's addressed to the people of Israel, but it is for us too. God loves us so much and he promises to be with us always. When we go through deep waters, he will be there. When we pass through fire, he will be there. When we're going through this time of great change and insecurity, he is there. He is here, he is with us, no matter how we may feel, he is with us, always. And of course, Jesus reminds us of that at the end of Matthew's Gospel, when he says, Surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. We have already explored the faithful nature of God in our songs and prayers. But in these times of insecurity, of uncertainty, the unchanging nature of God is important to us too. The letter to the Hebrews reminds us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. And in Revelation, the very last book of the Bible, St John records the words of God that he received in a vision. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was and who is to come, the Almighty. God never changes. And that is so reassuring in these ever-changing times. As God has always proved himself to be faithful and true and loving and just and merciful and generous and ever-present, 
so he always will be. God loves us and cares for us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Jesus loved us so much he was prepared to die for us. He still loves us that much. He's not going to let us go. He's not going to abandon us in this time of uncertainty that we're living through. So when we feel unsure, when we're faced with new situations, new difficulties, new challenges, we have that unchanging God who is there with us every step of the way. Therefore, we can express our thanks to God with the psalmist in those words from Psalm 89. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. Amen. Everlasting God, the years go by but you're unchanging in this fragile world. You are the only firm foundation, always loving, always true, always merciful and good, so good. Yesterday, today and forever You are the same, you never change Yesterday, today and forever You are faithful, we will trust in you Uncreated one But there is no end to your kingdom Always loving, always true Always merciful and good, so good Yesterday, today and forever You are the same, you never change Yesterday, today and forever You are faithful, we will trust you Yesterday, today and forever You are the same, you never change Yesterday, today and forever You are faithful, we will trust in you Faithful, we will trust you. Yes, 
Yesterday, today, and forever You are the same, you never change Yesterday, today, and forever You are faithful and we will trust you You are faithful and we will trust you You are faithful and we will trust in you We'll trust come to God with our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. Loving God, we pray for those who have been most affected by the changes in our country in the last two weeks. We ask for your wisdom, strength and guidance for our new King, Charles III. We pray for him as he comes to terms with all the new, unfamiliar duties he has to undertake and all the many meetings he must attend in the next few weeks, all at a time when he is mourning the loss of his mother. May he find time to experience and process his personal grief. We pray too for Prince William and his wife Catherine as they get used to their new roles as prince and princess. Of Wales. We remember too our new Prime Minister Liz Truss, who has had no time to get used to her new role before having to deal with all the extra upheaval of the change in the monarchy and the pivotal role she has had to play in all the ceremonial. We pray for her and all the ministers who have taken on new roles in government that they will have support as they plan for the future and take action to alleviate the economic situation that is proving so challenging for so many families. We ask for your wisdom for our government, that they will aspire to govern the country for the good of all people. Loving God, our lives have been dominated by these great changes that have taken place. But we know that many are dealing with change in their own lives too. So we bring them to you in our prayers. We pray for all who have started school recently. We think of those who have changed schools in the last week or so, especially those who have gone from small primary schools into secondary schools, which can be such daunting places. We pray for those who have left school and started college or university. Be with them in this new adventure. And we remember those who have left school and college and also university and are moving into the world of work. Be with them as they look for jobs and new careers so that they will flourish in the future. We also remember today the many Methodist ministers who've taken up a new, new appointments this month. May all who are experiencing life-changing events know that whatever new challenges they face, you the unchanging God, go with them, offering them support and guidance. Amen. And so we come to our closing song this morning, that song that reminds us that our strength comes from you. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord.
So I thank you for joining me this morning for worship from Chelmsford Methodists. I pray that you will be upheld by the, the strength that comes from God in the coming week. And a final blessing. The blessing of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.